Ladies and gentlemen, Louis Black. I literally just got back from Los Angeles, so I'm feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> I don't like it out there. I am clinically insane right now because I went there. That's a crazy... They're crazy. They're crazy. It's not me. They're nuts. They're gone. They used to not be a part of the United States. They are, now, they're not a part of the planet. When the guys came back from Desert Storm, they should have been sent to Los Angeles. We have to reclaim it. Those guys in camouflage gear should be on the corner screaming, Come back to planet Earth! Come back to planet Earth! If that will shoot you! Everybody, everybody, everybody there drives. Everybody's got a car. Carpooling? Ha ha! They laugh at carpooling. <laughs> Why would I do that? Oh, that's silly. No, I'm going to drive, 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 drive. They have freeways. What are you supposed to do on a freeway? You're supposed to go as fast as you want. They have stoplights. Stoplights on freeways. Wouldn't that be a tip? That you've got too many cars? <laughs> it's all drive, 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 drive. Anybody can get a license. Right? It can be spinning around you, be projectile vomiting. They'll give you a license. <laughs> It's drive, 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 and if they're not driving, they're doing aerobics. Jump it up and down, jump it up and down, jump it up and down. Drive, 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 jump it up and down. And these people live on a fault line. <laughs> you don't drive, 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 drive. You don't jump, jump, jump up and down. Uh-uh. Not when you live in a place that an earthquake can occur in any second. You know what you do? You should spend your entire time lying down. <laughs> barely moving. You should barely move. Shouldn't even have a thought. Maybe suck on a Cheerio occasionally for nourishment. <laughs> I was out there. This actually happened. I went to a place I'd snapped. So when I snap, I go to a place that calms me down. And the place I go that is totally normal, it's in every city in the United States. The International House of Pancakes. <laughs> they don't screw around with you there, they don't. They give you enough coffee that you're awake for a week afterwards. <laughs> Not one thing is syrup, six. Six things of syrup. <laughs> I was sitting in there, I was knocking back the boysenberry. <laughs> And this woman behind me said, and I quote, if it hadn't been for my horse, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. I turned around and said, what are you talking about? I fled that restaurant. I should talk, I live in New York. Time Magazine came out with that big article, New York is a dump. Like, that's news! <laughs> I chose to live here because you can do anything, anything, anything you want, and you will appear to be perfectly normal. <laughs> that guy in the corner that lives with me going blah, 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 blah. and that guy is my librarian <laughs> and if you're seeing a psychiatrist hey you're you're wasting money get on a plane fly here and get on the subway because inevitably you're going to be seated across from some guy who's playing with himself and he's saying La Bamba. And you know when I see that guy, I feel pretty good about myself. I think you know I never thought of that. Been a heck of a year though. That, that war, you know that war boy? I didn't know it started the war in Iraq. I said, boy. I, I was in panic. I said, how long is that war going to run? I'm just, I was scared, you know, I thought it might run forever. I mean, it panicked me. And now I'm worried, how long are we going to celebrate it? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. It's been party, party, party. I don't think we're ever going to stop. I think it's going to be like Madonna. She'll be there, Vanna White will always be there, and we'll always be celebrating the end of the war. <laughs> 
And then we went in there, we killed Iraqi, 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 and we didn't kill the right one! <laughs> Percentages weren't real good. What happened to Mission Impossible? <laughs> Where's Peter Graves? Just that little, you know, that dark thing poof, right in the neck, gone. <laughs> I'm glad you got that, because almost a sentence didn't come out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> then you had President Bush in the middle of the war gave a State of the Union address. Did anybody see it? No. <laughs> People elect him, and I'm the only one who listens to him! That's what made me crazy. In the middle of his speech, he said, and this is true, he said, if I, have a, if I had a hammer... If, oh, yeah, wait, no. He said, if you have a hammer, find a nail. Nothing he said before and nothing followed it. So I went and I grabbed a hammer and I found a nail and I walked around my apartment for two days waiting for the instruction. Where do you think he wants me to put his picture? The amazing thing about that war, though, was when it started, those three guys, uh, Bernard Shaw, Peter Arnett, and the guy who was hiding under the table. <laughs> CNN, boy. I watched that, and I saw those bombs go up. And those guys are sitting there. They're Americans sitting in a city, a foreign city, that's being attacked by U.S. bombs, and they're talking about it! And I say, boy, does this redefine the term dumbass to me? It's been a pleasure. Nice to be back at the city.